Good morning. This morning we're going to work on sorting and categorizing things for math. Let's get started. Let's look at these two animals, a chicken and a tiger. Which of these animals belongs at the zoo? The tiger. Good job. Now let's look at these two animals, a hippo and a goat. Which animal would you find at the zoo? The hippo. Great job. Now, let's see. There's a lamb and a gorilla. Which of these two animals goes in the zoo? The gorilla. Now, here's a picture of a farm. Which of these two animals goes in the farm? The lamb. That's right. And where would the giraffe be? Yes, you would find a giraffe at the zoo. Would you find a chicken or a giraffe at the zoo? That's right, a giraffe. How about the farm? Would you see a gorilla at the farm or would you see a chicken? That's right, the chicken would be at the farm, the gorilla at the zoo. Now here's the zoo again. Would the cow belong there or the elephant? The elephant, that's right. And now, here's the farm. Which animal gets sorted to the farm? A goat or a zebra? That's right, the goat, the zebra. Now, for this, we're going to be told about the category and we need to pick the animal that fits into it. This one is an animal with paws and stripes. Which of these two pictures is an animal with paws and stripes? That's right, the tiger. The next category is an animal that is gray and has a long trunk. Which of these two animals is gray and has a long trunk? And they're both gray in color, but this one has a long trunk, the elephant. Which animal has long legs and feathers that turn pink? Hmm, let's look really closely. Which one? has feathers that are pink. The flamingo, great job. For this category, we need an animal with stripes. Which animal here has stripes? Good job, the zebra. Can you think of another animal that has stripes? A tiger is another animal that has stripes. Can you think of any more animals? Which animal uses its nose to search for food? Which animal would fit in the category of animals that search for food with their nose? This animal's looking for insects. Does a lion use its nose to look for insects? No. This animal does. This is an anteater. For this category, we're going to put animals that slither. Which of these two pictures is an animal that slithers? An ape or a snake? That's right, a snake slithers. Now, we're looking for an animal that has spots and runs really fast. Hmm. Both the giraffe and the leopard have spots. Both the giraffe and the leopard have spots. And these two animals have stripes. So we know it has to be either the giraffe or the leopard. Which runs really fast, the giraffe or the leopard? The leopard, good job. 
which animal has hands and fingers like us? Look closely. Your head point to the animal that has fingers like us. Great job. Which animal waddles? We have a peacock, a parrot, a flamingo, and a penguin. Let's think. Which one waddles like a duck? Not a parrot, not a flamingo, and not a peacock. A penguin. A penguin waddles. Which animal eats bamboo? This is a little tricky. We have two bears. So if we were putting a category of bears together, so you could both be together. That's not what it's asking. It's asking which bear eats bamboo. Look closely at the picture to help you. Go ahead, point to the bear that eats bamboo. The panda bear, very good. Which animal has rough gray skin and tusks? So we can see here that both the rhino and the hippo have gray, rough skin. But which one has tusks? The rhino, right there. There are his tusks. Great job. The blank lives in the forest. So for this category, it's animals that live in the forest. Hmm. Hippo, lion, or bear? Let's think. Hmm. Do you think a hippo lives in the forest? No, that's right. What about a lion? Do you think if you went camping in the forest you would see a lion? Or could you maybe see a bear? A bear, that's right, good job. The blank lives in the Arctic. For this category, we need an animal that lives in the Arctic. The Arctic is a place that's really cold. Look at this picture. Which animal lives where it's really cold? A polar bear. Great job. This animal lives one of these animals lives in the jungle we already said that bears live in the forest so it's either the monkeys or the rhinoceros that forest looks very dense or full do you think a rhinoceros would fit well in there? No, probably not. So the answer is the monkeys. The monkeys live there. I hope you guys had fun.